Welcome back to another Text Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today we're jumping into another Muerto Times, the fourth edition already. I'm going to be broke. Ten cents each? <laughs> Ten cents each. each. Jeez. Uh, yeah, these uh, these Muerto Times have been basically... Uh, it's their way of keeping us updated on what they're working on for the next patch. It's kind of like patch notes, but it's not patch notes. Things are fixing. Things they're testing. Things that are on their on their radar in general. Yeah, it's really nice because we can see, you know, the fix in testing and then the under investigation and then the the needs more info is stuff that might not make it into this next patch, but it's definitely being looked at and we yeah. can clearly see that they acknowledge these issues and that they're working on them. They're trying to find more info. And it shows you that you can also help and give them feedback and keep sending in reports related to those needs more info things. So, yes. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go through the the Muerto Times, the fourth edition, and we're also going to talk about some comments that they left answering some questions about other issues that are also on the radar. Uh, let's start with the fixes that are in testing. Stun immunity period for family. Now, uh, this has been pretty controversial, and, and I literally posted a video this morning, I guess, when in terms of when this came out, about Taekwondo and door slams. And I think what I'm saying is getting a little getting a little construed getting a little uh, confused because the thing is door slams in general they can be frustrating uh but I, I i think they're fine i think door slams as a whole are pretty counterable they might catch you once but then you know you move out of the way you could door slam them back and then you, you could destroy the door right and you move on and that's that's that taekwondo door is where i have an issue with it where it becomes a 16 second stun and the, the reason i have an issue with it we might even go into this more later when you hit somebody with taekwondo door and they're in the door frame and, and they you could stop them from destroying the door before they even get there. They then can't even get up and walk away to get out of the door frame and you can just hit them again because the, that that stun is so long that the immunity that they have, it goes away and then they hit you. You hit, just hit with the door again. You can be stuck there for, I mean, minutes and minutes and minutes. And even if somebody does try to come help you, honestly, most of the time when I was doing it and I did it, I was literally showing because everyone said, oh, you're family main, you suck. You just don't like it because you're family main. No, here, let me go play victim and show you how it's done. And I do it. And I'm like, there you go. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, is it honestly nine times out of 10, if somebody comes down to help, you, you could probably door slam them too. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I'm, we were playing victim a lot more recently. Uh, mm -hmm. Last stream was almost 50, 50 family first victim gameplay. And I am not a good victim at all. You know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, we're there. learning. I'm getting there. <laughs> but the fact that you could door slam two of the family members that are, you know, one came up to try to help Leatherface. Yeah. And you were able to door slam both of them in a continuous loop where I could pick the front door of the family house, get out, shut the, off the gen and run halfway up the driveway. Yeah. Before you're even considered before they can even, they heard the door. I'm sure they heard the, the, or the, yeah, the gen, the shut, gen off, shut off yeah. and they still couldn't get away. Yeah. So, uh, that my issue is literally just with Taekwondo door. Like Taekwondo door is what makes the door slam mechanic a bully mechanic. Yeah. Because otherwise it can be countered pretty easily. And the only hope for Taekwondo door to not be effective against you is if you destroy everything before they even get there. And right. that's just not going to happen against a victim that is literally going for door slams. Right. The door slam mechanic is not the issue. Yeah. It's the perk that makes it impossible to even get away. Yeah. So when they say things like this on the Marito Times where it says stun immunity period for family, I I, I actually think it's going to be if you do it too long where the hint gets stunned, I think it's going to nerf the shit out of the victims way more than what you would do if you like either just completely removed Taekwondo door or you have to nerf the shit out of Taekwondo door, in which case it's not even which then it's pointless, <laughs> which then you might as well remove it because no one will run it because it will be so useless yeah. with a huge nerf that it would take. Yeah. So if they make it where you just can't be stunned, I don't know how long that immunity period looks like. Same with like how are they going to change it with bone scraps and how long that takes? Right. Because like, I don't have an issue with bone scraps either. I think the only time I didn't like bone scraps ever is if they're next to the valve and you just can't turn the fucking valve off, which you can either you can fix that in two ways. You move the bone scrap away from the valve or you just make it where family can shut up the valve faster. Right. And that's it. And problem solved. But like, you know, making this pile smaller and then making the stun immunity period, depending on how far they go with this, it could lead to some serious balance changes. And that, that's what concerns me, because I don't want the victims to be fucking pointless. You know? Right. Yeah. No, we we always were big, uh, big, you know, 
sayers, I guess, we always said, you know, yeah, move the bone scrap piles. Don't reduce the number. Yeah. And they reduce the number and it kind of helps yeah. in certain scenarios. But honestly, I think I think you could up the bone scraps for, per pile, but move the piles just a little further away from the valve or get the valve out of the basement. Yeah, I, I think the only time that I, I really don't even notice the bone scrap change, even on like the, the victim side of things, because it's not often you're actually grabbing that many. It's it's either defending the valve, you're you're bowling the family, or uh, you're stabbing grandpa a lot, or, or yeah, or, uh, or a lot, yeah, lots of uh, traps. Which maybe see that that's where I don't that's why I don't, like don't limit the piles, just move where the piles are, right? Because yeah, you should be able to take out those traps and earn that with the, as many bone scraps as you fucking need, right? Disabling a trap is stealth. This yeah. game they want it to be stealthy. So, yeah, don't reduce the amount of bone scraps. Just move the piles away so you can still have a lot of bone scraps to disable those traps uh, and other way. I, don't troll the family. Yeah, I mean, if you want to stab grandpa 30 times, I'm, I'm for it because <laughs> like, sure. I, I think any family should be able to counter that pretty easily. Like, dude, you know where they are. We, we uh, <laughs> you know I'll, where they are on dude. the last stream. We just did it. A uh, guy came up, Leland, I think, uh, stabbed grandpa and got trapped in a corner got trapped in the corner yeah. and couldn't leave. And then somehow I got trapped in the corner. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, so that's very, very counterable. And if so, who re who really cares? The only time it's ever bad to me is if it's on like the valve like that. Right. Um, back to doors, though, like an another way would just be like if the door is slammed with Taekwondo one time, maybe the door is is broken. Yeah. But like, what's the fucking point of having it? I mean, in I, I this is a, a suggestion I saw where it was. Uh, make it where there's a cooldown with Taekwondo. But so then you're just relying on the actual stun time of that victim or the family member being stunned that long. But but why? Like you're I guess you get more time then to do something like that's that much more time where the family member is distracted. But I just don't. Or maybe give it charges, maybe one, two, three or two, three, four charges for each level. Yeah, I just, uh, I just don't know how useful it is anymore then because it, dude, it is used. Like Taekwondo is used for one reason, and it is trolling. I, I really don't see it used for an actual like benefit to the victims beyond the benefit of being, you know, making a massive, massive distraction. Right. But you could do it in other ways. And I just Taekwondo, I just don't like it because it's not counterable. If you're trapped in them, you're, you're fucking trapped in it. And you can't you can't do anything. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, this was like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. I mentioned I was a hitchhiker and I was upstairs in the family house and I was literally trapped before I even got up to my feet. The stun was only half over. I got hit again. Yeah. And I literally could not do anything. And, and Leatherface had to come up to to get him away from the door. Yeah. So my let me just say this one more time. So it makes sense. My my concern is because what you do to fix that where you could use Taekwondo door and get long stun time is that you just can't be stunned again for over. Like you basically make it a 20 second cooldown before you can get stunned again. So you have 20 seconds of immunity. So then you're still stunned for 16 seconds, but you can move out of the way because the door is not going to affect you next time it hits right. you, which what does that do? It nurse door slams all around. So if you're in chase and you door slam him that first time, he gets back up because you don't have type one door and he's back on you in front of the next door. You can't door slam him again because he still has immunity. Right. Like So you're nerfing door slams all around. I that's going to be to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But to me, that makes balancing a much bigger balance change than just like nerfing the fuck or removing taekwondo yeah that's the that's the point i'm trying to make i went in like a, an hour long rant about this on twitter so i wanted to make sure i double down and makes try to make sense of the point i'm trying to make right. here don't remove door slams the door slam mechanic is fine it's a way it's one of the very few ways yeah. that the victims can fight back yeah against the family used against them and it can also be yeah reversed and family can slam the victims yeah which is hilarious and i can slam my teammates which is also I don't hilarious find it funny. But, yeah I, yeah yeah it's really the, the actual slam is not bad it's just that goddamn perk combined with it yeah just yeah don't yeah removing the perk isn't as big of a nerf to victims as reworking the door mechanic altogether yeah i think i <laughs> exactly yeah. i think i i would think so yeah. but hey we didn't make the game i just work here i didn't make the game <laughs> uh okay speaking of traps kind of that was my 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 planned uh transition to hitchhiker traps was when we talked about traps but then we kind of worked our way around it hitchhiker traps are finally looking it looks like it this time they're gonna be fixed hitchhiker traps atop the ladder if you don't know i'm actually surprised people don't know about it don't start using it if you're a hitchhiker uh 
If you put traps at the top of a ladder and a victim steps into it, that victim is now interaction locked and they can't go down any wells, they can't go through any gaps or go through any crawl spaces unless they go back down the ladder that they came from. That is obviously fucking stupid. It is broken. Yeah. It's horrible. A lot of hitchhiker mains know about it and they abuse the shit out of it anyway. They're fixing that. Uh, I actually thought it was funny. Matt tweeted on, on oh, excuse me, he posted on X and he actually said, hey, we, we see you, hitchhiker mains. You know, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it just, is that really fun? Is it fun to just clean wipe every single game by by, by not, cheating, by cheating, yeah. by exploiting? I mean, it's straight up exploiting. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't know about it, you know, but I'm just saying if you do know about it and you're still doing it, you kind of have an asshole. Right. And uh, and someone posted on Reddit, will Hitchhiker still be able to place traps on landings at the top of ladders? And Andy replied, he'll still be able to place them near the ladder, but without the cheesy shenanigans that have been reported and screened from the mountaintops by the community. Yes. Yes, quite. I actually think it's interesting that I didn't mention like interaction locks as well, because the stacking of traps has been talked about a lot with Hitchhiker 2. I wonder if that's kind of included in this, because you shouldn't be able to just put three traps in the exact same spot. Yeah. So something that should probably be looked at, too. Uh, then we have the agitator perk values. Those are going to be changed. If agitator perk is the perk that allows you to stab grandpa as a victim and drop his levels down as, as many as four total levels. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot yeah. i don't know how far you nerf this um uh, i think one two three is probably okay level one is one two three and maybe maybe at level three it can only work x amount of times two times yeah i i, I don't know the recommendations i saw is instead of making the level change increase the the amount he's dropped make it where he's stunned longer so if you stab him, he's just um, incapacitated for a longer amount of time. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think mean, that's pretty powerful. As a as a former Sunny main yeah. on my Xbox that I don't <laughs> touch anymore. Um I, I ran Agitator and it's agitating. <laughs> yeah. It sure is agitating to that family. I know it. Yeah, to to get you know, it's it actually is kind of a grind to get grandpa leveled up, especially against a fast paced victim team. Uh unless you have somebody running like a Dracula build or something like that, or straight blood harvesting build. It's really hard to get him leveled up quickly. And like I said, if you have a, a victim team moving fast, yeah. you don't even have time to focus on leveling up grandpa. So then you're like, you finally get it. You finally got enough blood to get him level five or close to it. And then one stab and all the progress is over. It's like, God, Back damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I it, little adjustment. I think that making it where it incapacitates him longer and it can be significant. I don't really care. That's fine. I think that'd be all right. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, don't still to be too broken. Yeah, but. still drop a drop a level. Yeah, maybe, maybe two, two. Yeah, but but yeah, having a longer time that honestly, I think would affect the family a little more. Right, right. And it's not just completely resetting their progress. It just right. makes it where grandpa is not working currently. <laughs> He's yeah. not making the call outs, you know? Yeah, we've had someone stab uh, stab grandpa. And then, you know, a, a few seconds later, everyone jumps out the already broken window. And we had no idea they ran through that that room to yeah. the window. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy, yeah. pretty crazy. Um, OK, but that, that, those are the actual fix in testing uh, options. Now, under investigation, they just have perk balancing. That so probably victim and family side, I'll tell you, there are some perks on the family side that are fucking sh ridiculous right now. Yeah. I already talked about uh, Taekwondo for the victim side. That's the only one that really drives me nuts. Uh, I think a couple of them are probably a little you know, no sell is pretty nuts. No sell with Anna or, um, yeah. you know, th th things like that. But uh, those not too bad. Those aren't too bad. Uh, you choose flight can be pretty nuts with like a Julie oh. where you save it. Like if you're saving it for the, the last run down to the end of the driveway and you have three full, which, which will be a total of four full bars of <laughs> endurance. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty goddamn yeah, those, powerful. Those level three uh, choose flights with Anna and Julie. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, pretty nasty. Uh, but yeah, same thing, though, on the on the family side. Scout, I actually think should probably just be straight up pulled off of some family members, i.e. Johnny. Yeah, I don't mean to. I mean, you know what? Scout is one thing. Um, maybe you just increase the damage uh, decrease that comes with Scout, because I know everyone loves those speed builds. You got the Leatherface speed build, the, the Johnny speed build. But with that speed does come a a decrease in your overall damage. Well, if you just make that decrease bigger, then mm. people won't run in as much. It won't be as common and you won't feel super pissed off as victim when they catch you no matter what. They're, they're doing less damage, at least, and you have a better opportunity of getting away. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to think of some other family perks that 
that could be uh, could be changed. I don't know about buffed, but maybe maybe nerfed a little bit. Um, Fired up is pretty nasty at level three, a 90 percent less delay in stamina before stamina starts regenerating. Like I've run that on my fast as fuck hitchhiker build. That's the name of it. Um, that, that's it. <laughs> that's the official name. Uh, <laughs> trademark. Um, and I just have to stop for a second, one second. And my stamina just shoots right up. Yeah, that that's one of those that is insane. And then you have things like uh, easily tuckered out, yep, which yep. can be used on hitchhiker Johnny and Sissy. Where when they're swinging, it does uh, it could be as high as um, let's see on level three. It's fifty percent less stamina, but the stamina generation rate is sixty percent slower. Well, you don't notice that too bad because you never run out of fucking stamina, right? So you have the, the Johnny speed build everyone's seeing is scout combined with easily tuckered out where you're just swinging over and over again. That's it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, perks like that absolutely need to be adjusted. And some of the grandpa perks as well are <laughs> pretty nasty. Yeah. If you ever actually get grandpa leveled up. <laughs> well, yeah, true. Like, I don't know, some of those like 30 percent, they could be they could be, you know, 10, 15, 20 or 5, 15, 25 yeah, if, if the thing is, if, if a perk is the difference between you being a good and a, a bad player, like that perk's probably overpowered. Yeah. Right. Uh, if that's the if that's the difference, perks should make a difference. They shouldn't be the ultimatum, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and things where like Johnny's dog shit, in my opinion, <laughs> Johnny's not good. Honestly, most of the time, I think most people would agree. Johnny's definitely the weakest fan member. If you don't have that scout easily tuckered out build. And when's the last time you saw Johnny not doing it? Every goddamn Johnny main you see is doing that that build. And it, the same goes for like Sissy with the rubber legs and the fix that happened. We'll talk about the patch, the actual patch. We'll do a patch review later. Yeah. But, dude, she's I, we saw like three sissies all day. Yeah. It went from every game to like never seeing her because that one little change made all the difference in the world to balance her out. Mm -hmm. no change. It's a, it was a bug fix for her. Right. <laughs> Johnny is just literally a tech. It's it's a meta. Yeah. And then uh, I, I even had a grandpa perk that uh, I think it reduces stamina drain by like 30 percent. Put yeah. that on with uh, with a speed tech Johnny on your team. Oh, it made it where the swings do 20 percent less uh, whatever stamina yeah. uses 20 percent less stamina. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can find out easily tuckered out, bro. That was my leather face. Uh, uh, grandpa perk. I, I wasn't using it. It was for my speed tech Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you, you can combine the combinations you can make in this game, make some crazy stuff happen. Yeah. And the most glaring one right now is is Johnny, mm -hmm. which they, they, they did address. All right. They did say they're working on Johnny. People were asking about him. They said issues associated with Johnny are being investigated and on our radar. And then so. they even uh, replied another time and said the design team is looking at Johnny. Yeah. So might uh, Johnny might be changing a little bit. I've seen some people complain about his actual ability and that they think it's too overpowered. I, I don't. Nope. I think it's when you combine it with the speed tech, it's overpowered. And so you just like, you know, get rid of the crazy speed tech shit and you're it'll probably be all right. I think I'm going to miss, though, uh, Johnny chasing butterflies. Just <laughs> <laughs> you, you can swing like 16 times without without losing or your endurance running out. Yeah. 16 times, bro. And at that whole time, you're going faster than the victim in front of you. <laughs> the only way you can get away is through a crawl space or a gap or an obstacle and the so basically, if you run into Johnny in an open area, you're fucked. Yeah, because he's strong, too. He's got insane savagery on top of it. So <laughs> just, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. So, yeah, I'm glad they're looking into that. That's going to that'll be nice. Yeah. Um, OK, now back to the Muerto Times. They uh, have under investigation gas station map improvements. They're talking about the smoke room door. I have They're to <laughs> talking about the yeah. smoke room door. Uh, as of this time, uh, we haven't seen any responses of uh, people of gun replying to people about what that means mm. um, at the time of recording this. But I can assume it's got to be something with that smoke room, like maybe somehow getting uh, the gen electrification on that door yeah, or behind at, it. At this point, I'm literally like in the mentality of just just remove the door. I, when you go out the gas station door any or the the gas station gate yeah it's anyway, the same, it's, same path you go to the same place it you you meet at the same place yeah so if you if you're if it's because you're worried about like putting a cattle grid there is too complicated where it connects to the generator if it's something like that just make it where the door can't be opened like 
that's it. You can keep the crawl spaces over there and whatnot, so it's still a hiding spot, but just make it where the door can't be interacted with. Like, it's a free escape. If, if someone's new, they're never going to know about it. Oh, right. They're, and yeah, they're never going to defend it. And if you don't have a cook, the, your, the odds of you defending it go down tremendously. You just need one little distraction to pull a fan member away and then Connie's gone or whoever. Right. It, it's I don't get it. I, I just don't get that escape. I think it's it's kind of ridiculous, but, you know. Yeah. And then also gas station map improvements might also be moving valve handles around or fuses around. Yeah. Maybe. I, I don't think gas station's too bad when it comes to that. Um, I mean, w- the only place would be locations. And it's if like the valve spawns behind the house and the fuse spawns outside. They're just so far away yeah. from each other. That, yeah. Or it's like the fuse in the rear bedroom and the valves at the workshop. It's harder to patrol those. Um, yeah. Maybe. I think the, the only because like those are still being earned. They're they're making you move as a family right. and whatnot. I think the only one that's a little annoying sometimes is if the fuse box is outside and they get it going. The run to the well and you drop down in front of the exit is kind of right in front of the exit. Yeah, I don't the It's literally just the well next to the exit. That's kind of like, OK, yeah. so the second that sucker opens, you're fucked. <laughs> you have to kill them so fast that you're never going to get them. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if they, they they couldn't move the door. It would have to just be the location. They would probably just get rid of that one location which even then is still pretty useful when it's inside the bedrooms. Are you, oh, you're saying the fuse? Yeah. The box well, location. You could still get right to that well and drop right yeah, in front I think, of the... Yeah, I think the, the only way to fix that specific issue is to move the exit door or to move the well. And it's probably and easier to move the well. Yeah, even both those solutions, kind of like you're changing the map so much. Right. It's like, you know what, man? I, at that point, I'm like, just, well, just take the fucking L on the chin. If they get the fuse box open, eh, whatever. It sucks that it's so easy just to run right to the well, but... Eh, that's better than making them design the whole <laughs> change the whole design of the map just to fix one escape that might happen right you know that you can defend right so i don't know oh i don't know here and there and then beyond that the, the last one for under investigation is stealth balancing which they've talked about this what it's mainly for like the stealth attribute they want you to benefit more from using stealth but if you're a player that doesn't want to use stealth and you want to bum rush you're still you can do that and you can still be rewarded for doing so but they just want to make it where if you do play stealthy and you use that attribute, you are uh, you're getting the benefit that you think you deserve. Because it's the people that play fast that get all the XP, right? right? The door slammers, the backstabbers, the the, you know, all those. Right. <laughs> maybe maybe you get uh, extra XP for staying out of sight of a family member for one minute, five yeah. minutes. Time in the shadows could give you XP, th- things like that, yeah. uh, where you do actually get more XP because like. The game's designed to be stealthy. You're supposed to be stealthy. Just no one is stealthy. And but you're rewarding the people with a ton of XP who are the assholes, right? Who are the ones that are just taking advantage of, of like the, the bully tactics, which it's fine to play that way. It's, it's your right to play that way. But if you don't want to play that way, you should still be to get as much XP as the next guy. Right. Do the damn objectives and get some XP. Yeah. So that's what they're looking at with that. As for needs more info, they're looking at mini game issues. It's for lock picking. I haven't seen these personally. I've seen where it can freeze on your screen or maybe you can get interaction bugged. I've heard about those. Haven't experienced same, that. same, but under investigation or needs more info and then locked out of interactions. Saw this one time with a door where doing a door slam like an asshole. I the door literally was no longer allowed to open. That was the only time I've ever seen it happen. And then when we came back to it later, it was fine. It was just like whatever that period of time, the door stopped working. They said it was waiting. Yeah, they said no more. That door was on (laughs) cooldown. Yeah, that door was on cooldown. They said no more. That's the only time I've seen it. I'm not sure what else they're referring to and how bad it is, but that's it. Right. Unless that is also means like with the hitchhiker trap where maybe they figured out maybe they're moving hitchhikers traps away from the ladder so that interaction doesn't happen. But they're also need more info on why the interaction lock is happening. That could be. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, way. it needs more info. Yeah, needs more info. So if you <laughs> if you have examples of that, send it their way. Uh, now, just a couple things that weren't on the actual newspaper, but they said in the replies, uh, someone mentioned the chainsaw overheating when grandpa is awake. Yep. And he did say that it's tricky, but they're working on it and investigating because it is tricky because there's so much shit happening in the background. What do you do to fix it? I don't know. You basically have to like kind of make it where all interactions stop. When grandpa, then the cutscene happens. Right. So you're, you can no longer interact with, you know, because because you ever notice you notice this on both sides where 
this if you interact with something the second the cutscene starts you can still do it that's turning on the chainsaw it'll be that way you can still turn it on if you press it the exact second he uh he wakes up setting hitchhiker traps yeah hit traps destroying obstacles yep. things like that even grabbing grabbing unlock unlock tools bone and bone scraps, scraps and things yep. like that if it's a perfect time it'll keep going so that's what's happening with leatherface where if you're holding l2 it, it's treating it as if you're still interacting with the chainsaw so it keeps revving up but if you know if you like if you're like tapping the rev and the, the second you release a tap he won't overheat his chainsaw in the cutscene so yeah like it's something where the interaction, the, if it's tied, if it's at the same time the cutscene starts, the interaction keeps happening. Mm -hmm. How do you fix that? <laughs> that sounds like a complicated dev issue. Right. And sometimes I'm able to just, you know, kind of spam the buttons right yeah. out of that cutscene. And it's like 60 percent of the time it won't overheat. Yeah. For some, the other reason, 40, it just does. for some reason, it's been better lately. And I don't know if it's something because they looked into it, but I swear I stall my chainsaw less <laughs> during the cutscene now. I didn't know. Maybe it's I'm just tapping L2 more these days. Just a little more experience with my middle finger. Do you hold your Do you hold your controller like this now? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just doing this and you're sprinting with one finger. <laughs> Some try hard shit, you know. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> then uh, you already mentioned the still being on a place trap for hitchhiker, and we already talked about the Johnny bug. So those are everything that we've seen so far in terms of Reddit replies. Yeah. I don't know if you saw anything else, but no. that's where we're at. Uh, I mean. This seems like a little bit more of an underwhelming Morento time so far because it seems like a lot of the stuff that was like under investigation is now moved up and we're just kind of moving things up. So there's not a lot of new things here, which is I mean, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, and still we're talking about. But I guess let, let's roll into the patch review portion of this video. We'll talk about the patch that came out yesterday. Things we think are good. Things we think are bad. Uh, let's start with the big one. The biggest change. The bug fix to Sissy where her poison no longer stacks on top of her blade so every time she hits you you're not getting a poison effect so things like rubber legs are not completely broken so you're actually able to still move when sissy's on you and i'll tell you right away playing a sissy it's very fucking noticeable going against sissy in my opinion even more noticeable i wasn't scared of her at all anymore man no you just get that bitch out of you you, know, you just you you move away quickly what i will say though the poison cloud still extremely powerful in fact, it was one of the only door slam counters that I felt the whole day was so, uh, Sissy using poison against me and I couldn't slam the way that I was before. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the poison is really powerful. Just like anyone that was playing Sissy, they now have to really earn the value of things like rubber legs. And uh, yeah, and I think you're going to see a lot less sissies out there. Yeah. D seen some people on the subreddit saying, you know, she's slower than Hitchhiker, uh, swings just the same as Johnny. Like there's no benefit to choosing sissy over hitchhiker or johnny other than the poison but not a lot of sissies use the poison very often yeah at least or they don't use it very well Maybe. um yeah because you, you really have to use it around objectives and and do you want to risk using an entire poison thing poison whatever item Cloud. yeah do you want to waste it on putting it on a fuse that you may not even notice gets interacted with right. or putting it on uh the battery and it, you never even notice if it gets interacted with because you had to actually be looking that direction. You won't get alerted. So, yeah, the choices on how to use your poison is, is very picky with yeah. her. And a lot of times you won't see the value. Uh, she could be good, but it does. It takes a lot more skill now to yeah. be good with her. So I think those sissy mains are going to be cut in half. Probably. Maybe more. I don't know. It's a good change. Like it needed to happen. But now she's probably in the category of she needs a little bit of a buff to make her worth your time. Maybe. And this, here's the thing. You get rid of the speed tech Johnny. It's the same story with him. You know, like they were already like Johnny, especially was getting shit on. Like nobody wanted to play Johnny. Then the speed tech build came out. That meta came out. And now everyone loves Johnny. Yeah. And you get rid of it and you're never going to see him anymore because ability is only so good. Right. I don't know. Uh, so that's a concern with her. She's probably going to be a, a little bit of a buff now. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, what were the other one? The fuse box change on Slaughterhouse. Uh, I, it's fine. I don't. Again, on the Slaughterhouse, everyone goes for Valve. I don't think they even open. The, they open the fuse box one time in the eight hour stream. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess four hours that we played family. Well, even on our side, we only we didn't touch the damn thing. No. So, no, they, they, they did one time and it was on the facility door. No one went over there because, um, you know, you're just going to go for the valve on Slaughterhouse. Yeah. 
So Valve, or you're going to go through the sliding door of Slaughterhouse. But I think, but I think it it's better, at least for for family. It just makes it easier to patrol it, because uh, it it's so far that sliding door. That's why in general it's tough to cover because yeah. if someone gets in there, you're like shit. Because now I have to take me and my resources away from the the other part of the objectives. Uh, and it's because like Slaughterhouse itself, when you're inside of there, yeah. you're you don't have quick access to go down to the basement. You either have to go to the North Storage Room door, or you have to go inside of the holding pen. It's long runs either way for family. So that's why going over there and trying to defend a fuse box when so far away from any access to the valve. Right. That's why it became an issue. So you, the second you pop a valve, no one's even close to that fuse box. So they would get an instant escape if they're actually working together. Right. So now at least it's a little bit easier to patrol for the family. Uh, but it's still like if you want to do it, you, you can make it happen. Right. Yeah. You come out that uh, north storage room door. And sort of wrap around the courtyard. Yeah, you can you can get there. And you got the blue container over there. That's pretty easy to loop unless you're being teamed up on. Yeah. So. I don't know. I did, so far haven't seen a like a massive issue with it. No, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's OK. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? Um, the the efficient grappler and efficient backstabber perks uh, were reduced. I, I don't use them. I don't either. Yeah, I, I can't tell you if I've been stabbed less or more, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, seven players in, required in a game. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. But the problem is it, it's the same. The reason they had the six player thing is is why it's going to be a problem. But going in shorthand on either side is trash. Yeah, it's stupid. It's not fun. Takes away the whole balance of the game. I mean, unless you're going against poo poo dog players, which sure it happens. But if you're going in two V four or three V three, you're at a disadvantage either way. Yeah. So it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the mini game escape restraints mini game. Literally didn't notice it. Couldn't tell. <laughs> couldn't I actually tell. totally forgot about it until looking at the patch notes again, uh, like at the end of the stream. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Totally forgot about it. I yeah. played a lot of victim that day. Yeah. Totally forgot about it. And I played I played Connie instead of Anna. So I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe this is how long Connie takes. Yeah, which she does. I mean, she takes longer than Anna, but still not significant. Yeah, that we could tell. And then the Connie and Leland cooldown abilities. Yeah, ability cooldowns. Yeah. So at level three with Leland, uh, it's an 18 second difference. It's, it takes 18 seconds longer to get your uh, your ability I back. I think that's what it read. Yeah. Yeah, I will say it's it's noticeable. Uh, it's nothing crazy. No. I man, you you really don't need that shoulder as much as you think. All right. Yeah, it comes in clutch sometimes, so be safe with it. Most of the people that are, I'm going to be honest with you, most people complaining about the goddamn cooldown on Leland are the same people that truck Leatherface before he turns his chainsaw on. Yep. I'm sorry, but that's just the reality. I, I love it, too. I, I, I Leland's my main. I love the guy, but the cooldown's not that bad. It's all right. Yeah. And I uh, I had never played Connie before yesterday because every time we would get in a, a squad to play yeah. someone better than me at victim. You give Connie That's yeah. what you do. Um, but I was playing Connie uh, quite a bit yesterday, and, and I think it's fine. It take it takes a while yeah. to, to recharge, and I think that's fine. Yeah, the thing with Connie and uh, I played Connie a little bit yesterday. You you notice it, right? Like it is definitely a longer cooldown, but you also don't use her ability that often. Like I think most people I, I've seen people argue with me on this point, and, and maybe I'm just a noob. Um, I think you, you usually save it for the last door. I think the only time I ever use it twice, it's honestly, God, the only time I've ever used it twice in the same game is if it's at family house and there's a cook because I'll use it on one of the padlocks at one of the three doors. And then I might use it again if I go to the back, the battery exit. Yeah. Well, I was, I'm like, you're just going to save it for the last gate and pop that bitch out and get and run. Mm -hmm. That's kind of that. So. I don't know, the cooldowns, I, I think they're unnecessary. I'll say that. I don't think you really needed it for Leland. I don't really think you needed it for Connie. But they also didn't really nerf it that bad. No, I don't think so. Even as family playing, I don't think I got shouldered really any more than usual or any You're less right. than usual. Yeah. From Leland. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it, again, unnecessary, but it, it didn't really like completely shit on them. Yeah. <laughs> like I thought they were going to, you know, yeah. make it where it's like a five minute cooldown. That'd be something. Yeah. Uh, other than that, that's really all the main things in the patch notes there. Um, do we want to talk about other, you know, quality of life things we would like to see? Well, you got anything on your mind? I got four things. Oh, four. Well, one of them is hitchhiker traps on ladders still broken. Good God, man. Uh, yeesh. Uh, the voice chat bug that was supposed to be fixed 
in the last patch still not fixed still Notice happened to it, us they didn't have it under needs more info anymore so right but it still happened to us tw- once or twice yeah I, I think only twice so less than before but right. still well, i mean happened. we spent the like the whole second half of the stream in a party chat so right. we wouldn't even know if it broke again right um and then other quality of life don't allow dcs during execution animations yeah and if you do still count it either way because it's it's fine if it happens in one of the first three kills because you still get credit for the execution you get the points if the last person dcs you don't get credit for killing all the victims right finishing the game right and then 500 xp you know how important 500 xp is in this goddamn game right (laughs) yeah xp should be on this list for for family and victims i think victim needs like a 25 percent boost family needs like a 50 percent boost yeah um but even the first three kills uh it happened less and less, but the game completely breaking on a disconnect. Yeah, it happens less and less every patch, but it's still there. So allowing I them did to it happen at all yesterday. I don't oh, know. I think it happened once. Yeah, sometimes I mean, the parties break where you have to restart your game all the time. So that's, that's still annoying. an issue. Yep. Yeah. But the actual in game break, I don't recall that happening. I so. think it happened once yesterday, which. Yeah. That's, that's we're getting there yeah just, <laughs> just don't there. just don't i mean maybe don't allow them to dc during the animation at all they i think they can wait seven seconds well i mean honestly though i can't believe how common it is people leave during the execution like bro it's you it's always the people that are the most toxic like they're hitting you with every damn brutal mechanic to try to bully you and then you catch them slipping and then they dc it's like dude Take your L. And I let you kick my ass for like five minutes straight. Take your L in peace. Take your seven second animation and yeah. then you can leave. Like, how are you? You're not getting XP then. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, you're not. How are you leveling up? If you're doing that every every time you die, you DC, bro, you're the, <laughs> these level 40s might be level 99s yeah. if they would have kept their XP. Everyone asks, how did you get max level already? I don't leave the fucking game. That's why I sit there and take my XP bonuses. Speaking of max level. But I also didn't go outside for a while. <laughs> grass? <laughs> yeah, never grass. heard of it. You'd never heard of it. Um, on the topic of max level, got to hide the player level. Uh, yeah, that's a serious problem. Uh, I, I hate that because I'm max level. I can't like I dig the, the amount of games, the lobbies that end because people leave instantly. I honestly maybe once yesterday we joined a game as victim and someone from the family didn't leave once w- literally yeah. one time every single time we join and then literally we got uh, a slur for a white person said at us to touch grass <laughs> and then they left and yeah. i don't even think that lobby started because people just kept joining seeing level 99 going hell no yeah. and leaving and like maybe they're leaving because the map maybe they're leaving because they didn't get the character they want but it was like it's so fast it's all the time people leave because they see somebody that's that high a level and they assume that they're freakishly good <laughs> but <laughs> we're, i'm not <laughs> i'm not i just there, don't go outside <laughs> there was a level 75 that literally typed in the chat 99 is ridiculous i'm dodging and left they were yeah. level 75 yeah You just backed out of more lobbies than me. All right. You probably have the same amount of time. (laughs) Right. Yeah. I. What is the I guess I get the point of showing the player level so you can adjust your builds, your try hard build when they're higher levels and your easy fun builds when they're lower levels. But seeing the the player level is unnecessary. Character level. Keep it. My my recommendation for this instead, uh, I, I think it's okay. Maybe it's a little too much, but instead of showing the overall player level, where you can, you know, you're just literally flexing on the on the people on the other team. Right. Uh, which it's kind of it's kind of fun. I mean, I, I'm proud that I fucking earned that shit. I didn't XP glitch. I, I didn't do any of that shit. I actually earned it. Um, so that's kind of nice. But if you were just hide the player level and instead show the ability level, that is way more influential on whether or not how you're going to play and what loadout you're going to run. Yeah, it takes a long time to get those abilities, those uh, family abilities from two to three. Yeah. So you see a level three, you know, you got somebody with some experience in this game. Yeah. And it's the same thing as like if you see a cook that is at a level three ability, you're going to play differently because, you know, you're, he could pull you up. So you're going to play a little bit slower. You're going to play a little bit quieter. I, I think that is way more influential for that change rather than just being like, oh, that guy's ninety nine and is probably a freak, even though really it, it's just how much I played. It's, it has nothing to do with skill. I'm trash. I mean, I'd love to sit here and tell you I'm the best player in the game, but I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it just it comes down to how much you play. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, just get that's what I would suggest. I think I think that's a the fair trade off, a fair compromise of getting rid of the player level that you might use to change your ability uh, or how you play your loadouts yeah and show the ability levels of the family and victims 
so you can tune your play style that way. I think it works. I think that's a fair trade off. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had another quality life change, but I totally forgot what it was. You got another one? Unlockables. That's what it was. That's what it was. Fuck me, bro. Okay. Uh, shout out to Pooch Dog who posted a video on this. Um, Pooch Dog is a little more upset about it than I am. Uh, I have two things I want to point out with Unlockables. First thing, I, you know, not having cosmetics to earn with your level or, you know, execution, things like that. It sucks. I will try to explain. I'll try to, you know, be the devil's advocate here. I think the reason they're doing that is because they're going to make hopefully i'm right i think they're gonna make characters like new fan members new maps victims. new victims i think they're gonna make those free mm -hmm. so that there's no pay to win element to the game and then they're always gonna rely on cosmetics and execution things like that to be paid dlc so that's where they get their money and then you get the characters for free so that there's no pay to win element and everything you purchase is purely cosmetic based right i think that's the point right devil's advocate for that a little bit darker colors make it harder to see at night so it could be paid pay to, to win. win yeah sure fair enough but also devil's advocate for on the other side as well. Devil's, no, devil's well, I mean, you're on your side. Uh, you could still give something to these higher level players that work their fucking ass off to get that high level. Yeah. You could have some cosmetics that are free. The golden chain. <laughs> so no. I just just something so that you could show off like because if you're no longer if you're going to hide the player level in the lobby, I want to somehow flex on people. All yeah. right. God damn it. So, yeah, that would be that would be nice because I. I the unlockables are cool to me. I'm a big behind the scenes guy. All right. Love the original movie. So it was cool seeing that stuff. Yes. The problem is a lot of it you could just find on Google or a lot of it you've already seen before. A lot of you already knew. And then you get, man, you're like, you see like 11 unlockables still locked and they're all locked underneath 99. And you're like, oh, dude, those got to be good ones. Let me tell you, if you get to level 99 and you're expecting to get a really cool unlockable, just get, lose all hope right now. Because I couldn't believe it. I scrolled down, was excited to see all those 99 unlocks, and it was the fucking trading cards. I seriously, I like my jaw dropped. It was the ones they posted on their community hub and all of them on Twitter. Yeah. X, social, social media. media. Yeah. We've seen them before. We saw me. Yeah. Eight months ago. Yeah. I think there was only there was one 99 unlockable, I think, that wasn't a trading card and it was like behind the scenes. It was a cool video or photo. Yeah. But come, oh, my God, when you, you have no idea without XP glitching or especially if you're a family main, which I was, you know, 99 percent of the time throughout uh, that 99 process, play more victim now. But then, dude, it took so long to get that to get that level. I mean, 250 hours in game to get there. And then I got trading cards. Oh, yeah, I think you probably should have started with the trading cards that everyone's seen before already. Yeah, that should have been an objective based unlockable, not a fucking level unlockable. And dude, I'm telling you, it hurt my soul. I was like, are you kidding? That, yeah, seeing 1199 unlockables, you're like, holy shit. Yeah, they, we're get, we're, cool. they could show us an, a glimpse at the next, you know, family member. Yeah, or it next could be victim. a tease. Yeah, it could be a tease, you know, mm -hmm. working so hard for that 99. And it's something that's been on social media for eight months. Yeah, that we've all seen before. Yeah, I was like, bro. It hurts so bad. <laughs> you know, people ask people ask all the time. Hey, when you hit 99, you're going to show off the unlockables. You don't want me to. You're going to be pissed. <laughs> people, people keep I mean, people keep asking. They're like, dude, you're 99. Show me the unlockables. Show me. The and they're like, oh, oh, did you? Yeah. Did you get anything? Did you lock anything? No, I, I did it because they've seen it before, too. It was on social media. Yeah. It, it just feels like a massive oversight. That And that's there's a couple things in this game that are like that, where it's like, how did you not think about this ahead of time? You know? Uh, and one of those things is take one door. <laughs> like if you tested that perk at all, like how do you not see just how bad it can be? Or, or, you know, like the, the smoke room door things. I'm like, how are you not seeing how this changes everything? And then cosmetics, like it, listen, cosmetics are cosmetics. They don't do anything for you, but like, if you want somebody to keep coming back, you want somebody to keep playing and have a goal and things to do. You got to have that kind of shit in the game. And, Fucking trading cards didn't do it for me, and it really hurt my soul. So game design goes a long way. That's how you're going to retain. That's how you're going to keep people retained at first. But they're going to get burnt out if they don't have something to go for, and that you just don't have anything to go for in this game. Right. Like, I don't know. The, the only my only goal now is to max out character abilities. Like I and it, really, it's so fucking tedious. It's I'm glad I love the game, so I'm not burnt out at all. No. Um, but I'm a very, I'm a unique person. I know that when it comes to being able to play the same shit over and over and over again, I've always been that, like 
been like that my whole life. When I like Call of Duty, I can play the same fucking Call of Duty forever. Not many people are like that. Okay, so yeah, man, you gotta have something to, to strive for, to go for, or you're just gonna get burnt down. Or you're gonna stop playing. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, especially you know, giving the what we think is they're going to give the new maps and characters because then there's no pay to win for free. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, cosmetics will be now only purchasable. So, yeah, you're working up for the unlockables. If I like the game, I don't give a fuck about Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. I don't even really like horror. I like horror games. Yeah. I don't give a shit about any of those unlockables. What if I get tired of the game at level 30? I'm never coming back because there's nothing to work towards. Yeah, it's really you see. This is another thing that's like kind of crossing my mind is if you're when new characters come out, I have four hundred and eighty nine uh, whatever skill, skill points. points unused. Yeah. yeah. So I can, I'm maxing out my character instantly. At least I have the ability to grind for on a new character. You have how many? 489? 489. And each one is about 50 to 55 to, yeah, to go it, through a whole tree? Yeah, it's about 50 on all of them, yeah. So you get the next... Nine characters. Nine characters yeah. all maxed out instantly. Yeah. Nothing to work towards. I'm good for years, bro. <laughs> and then, like, uh, let's say they do decide to add unlockables uh, based on your level in the future, your player level already got them. I got them all. And I, I hate that. Like I, I when shit comes out, I want to do something. I want to work for it. So the only way I would ever actually benefit from that now is because uh, they increase the max level, which if they increase the max level, you're going to see some pissed off people that finally got into like the 70s and 80s after like playing 100 hours. And they're like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah. Maybe that's they goes. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It's that's like that's a small amount of people that are actually gonna be upset about that. But I'm just saying like. So that's the only way. And that's happened at 13, right? I mean, they added the bloody skins and the weapon swapping. So you had to go past level 100, 101. Yep. yep. So, yeah, I mean, that's probably going to happen here, too. Man. I'm just going to walk into some free cosmetics. Right. And that's that. That's what that's what they have to do, right? They raise the level cap for what? You already have way more than enough skill points. Yeah. And then what do you free unlockables that are going to be? behind the, more behind the scenes it's got to be cosmetic based yeah executions shit like that Ex ex yeah executions that'd be cool i mean if you think about it like i guess there, there's a lot more killers quote-unquote killers in this game and then we have to assume there did the mocap for several different dlc characters right you would think um with that knowledge, you I mean, how much time do they actually spend doing mocap? Would you know, adjacent, there were hundreds of kills in the time they did mocap, but you now you're separating it between s several fan members. How many executions can you really put in there, uh, at, right now, you know, right, that are unlockable and they're not going to cost you money, right? That's all. I don't know. Those are the those are minor issues for now. Uh, let's the game balance and the bugs. Uh, the, the actual game breaking bugs like hitchhikers traps. Those are a little bit more important right now. Yeah, I'm just saying it's on my mind. It's always on my mind. That's it. You got anything else? No, I think that's that's about it for me. Well, that's our thoughts on the Marito Times and the latest patch. We'll be back for the actual patch notes, which are probably going to be tomorrow. I, I'm just at this rate tomorrow or Friday. And the, the update will probably come out on Tuesday. That's what it seems like they're rolling out. Which cool. That's awesome. Yeah, they did say, you know, these weekly patches aren't going to be forever. But yeah, you got that their cue that we're not getting a patch for a while. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, it's it's been great getting these weekly patches and bringing people back in with these new updates every week that sort of, you know, kind of pitter patter out because of some of these issues. They're back. Yeah. Word. Word. But uh, hey, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.